Lucy Tong has just turned 18. She's studying for her A-levels, but her every waking hour is quite literally a nightmare. Active. If I'm having a conversation with somebody, I'm not likely to fall asleep, but if I'm trying to read something or if I'm just you know, watching the telly or I've I'm trying to do revision, which I've been trying to do at the minute, then I'm really likely just to fall asleep. Um, it's anywhere between 40 and 50 times a day. Lucy has narcolepsy, an incurable condition that means she can only stay awake with the help of a cocktail of stimulants and at night takes a controlled overdose of sedatives to make her sleep. Lucy's family believe her condition was triggered by a vaccine she had as a 13-year-old to protect her against swine flu. The Pandemrix vaccine was first released in reaction to the swine flu pandemic in 2009 and has been administered to 30 million people worldwide. The US rejected the drug based on the lack of clinical trials. Manufacturers GSK obtained a global indemnity as Pandemrix had not been fully tested before it was put into use. Although the government accepts there is a probable link between the vaccination and Lucy's condition, they say her disability is insufficient to pay compensation. The fact that they won't pay it because we supposedly don't meet the, thresh the threshold of you know, being sufficiently damaged is, is just very, it's very hypocritical really. That Matt O'Neill developed narcolepsy naturally as an adult. He's campaigning for more to be done to help sufferers and for the government to accept full responsibility. There's uh, British Medical Journal studies that, that prove that there is something like a 14-fold increase in cases of narcolepsy amongst particularly children and some health workers as well who had the pandemic vaccine. And I think it's, you know, if, if vaccines are there for the for the benefit of the the people and the majority of the people, then I think it's it's only fair that the the rest of us should offer some form of you know recompense and long term care for anyone who gets damaged as a result. Lucy also faces a daily struggle with cataplexy, a symptom of the condition that causes spells of involuntary muscle weakness. If if she has a cataplexy attack, she can fall down and injure herself. Um, um, if, if she falls asleep uh, going on a journey somewhere and she hasn't got me or close friend with her, then I, I worry about that. She's vulnerable in those situations. GSK is researching the link between narcolepsy and pandemics. The government says vaccine damage payments are only provided in very rare cases. However, Lucy and her family plan to appeal. Sarah Beecroft, ITV News.